I've been showing you my travels in Mexico City. I've only been here for like two days and I gotta I don't really get to explore very much today's anymore. Today's a work day and then I got a five forty five flight out of here in the morning. Um I'm not sleeping tonight. But I wanna give a quick impression of it. I was completely caught off guard. As a gringo in California who's not from Southern California, just doesn't know. Everyone's like, oh, be careful. Be careful when you go to Mexico, which you know, you should be careful when you go anywhere, right? But uh, be careful. Uh, tuck your, tuck your, where, where, you know, it's like I never felt unsafe in Mexico. And it's like, I'm not saying it doesn't have spots like that. And I'm sure I wasn't in them. But to me, it just felt like any other city. You know, LA has spots. I was terrified walking home from SoFi. Oakland has spots. New York has spots. So it's, it seemed like it, it's a city that gets a bad rap because where I'm staying right here is freaking Beverly Hills, essentially. I, I get to look out at something that looks like Central Park. And uh, there's so many amazing neighborhoods I haven't even gotten to explore yet. The, the food is phenomenal. Um, all, these, all this history. When I first got in, I was thinking, this feels like L.A. I've been to L.A. Um, there's a lot of smog. There's a lot of uh, traffic. There's a big sprawl. There's not really well, – L.A. has the beaches, but it doesn't have, like, you know, bays and rivers and, and – uh, bridges like like other places and i'm thinking this feels like la but twice as packed but now when i go around I'm like mm, no it's more like new york because it's a walking city I, I walked all over mexico city yesterday and it was like seductive kind of like new york oh, i just want to walk one more one more block it, it's so much fun and every time it's like over an, a, a visual overload, just not just a visual overload, but like all, all your senses. It's like no city I've ever been to. And I'm going to come back. I've already talked to my wife about it. She was supposed to come down, but we got Thanksgiving this week and we're doing it at, at my, our house for the first time. And she felt like she needed to prepare, which I, I appreciate. I have to work. So I had to come. So we're, well, as soon as the Niners lose, we're coming back. And then I think we're going to keep going after this and go deeper into South America, maybe Medellin, something like that. I'm enchanted. The food's phenomenal. And uh, it's gorgeous. It seems as safe as any other big city that I've ever been to. I didn't drink the water. That's a downer that you can't drink the water. But really, I don't like tap water anywhere besides the Bay Area anyway. Bay Area has phenomenal tap water. You go to LA, it's like, Ew. And the other thing is the money thing. I didn't understand how cheap things were. I came to Mexico City when I was 20, not Mexico City, Mexico. I went to Sayulita, which was... It's north of Puerto Vallarta for my brother's wedding in 2011. Back then, I thought pesos were 10 to 1. for like It was 10 to 1 exchange with a uh, dollar. So 10 pesos was a dollar. Now it's 20 to 1. I, I just found that out yesterday night. So I was over here being like, oh, okay, you know, things have gotten a little expensive around here. Everything is extremely cheap. And so yesterday, I brought out, I brought out like way too much money at the ATM thinking I, need, I, I could actually spend that many pesos. And at the end of the day, I was like, looking for things to buy. So I was like, oh, I'll get a haircut because haircuts are always outrageously expensive. In Oakland, I spend 50, 40 bucks plus a $10 tip on a, a haircut that the dude does in about 20 minutes. And it's nice. I mean, I like it. I'll go in, just, I, I see a random barber on the street and they don't really speak English. And I'm like, do you take walk-ins? And I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. And they're, they totally understood what, what I was saying. And they were like, just wait, cinco minutos. Uh, they said it without, not like that though. Um, then they set me up, a, a young lady cut my hair. She must've been, I don't know, 30, my age. She didn't speak English. I told her I wanted a fade on the side, like a two faded and like half inch off the top. I guess she understood me. She went to town. She went to work. She was working on, I've never really gotten a fade or maybe not since, you know, maybe not since college. It takes a little time to get that line. She was working. This haircut took easily 45 minutes. And then she wasn't done. She was like, motion me to the back and I got the, the shampoo treatment, which was nice. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't want the shampoo treatment from my other barber, but this lady gave me the full shampoo treatment and it wasn't just like washing my hair. It was like a massage. It was great. And then at the end, she said 140 pesos, which I thought was $14. I was like, oh, for all that work, so I gave her 200, which I thought was 20. Turns out I gave her $10 for like an hour of work. I felt so bad. That, that was worth 50 bucks. That was a $75 haircut. 
she got she asked for seven dollars that was kind of sad actually seven dollars for all that other thing that's crazy about mexico is the the red light economy you be driving around hit a red light boom hell the people out hey you want some of this you want some, can i clean your windshield and a lot the uber driver's like yeah clean my windshield yeah i want that like that is an important economy red light economy i think that was really really cool it's like why waste it people are chilling there's hell of people at this red light they might want something and frankly a lot of them do <laughs> i think that's so cool man red light economy that, like as a, as a uh, californian like i don't know about you but if someone just walks up to my car i'm like oh my first reaction is to be scared in california in mexico city no one is scared everyone's like oh yeah man that's pedro what's up how you doing yeah let me get two of those like that i think that is so cool again i never felt unsafe in mexico city and i'm not saying that you should just come down here and act a fool because that's not what i did but i think it has a stigma that it doesn't deserve unwarranted i'm coming back with my wife